Well, good evening and welcome to the Marilla Hobart International, the Domain Tennis Centre here in Hobart as we look forward to what will be an interesting third night session as the second round matches will be completed. That's what's coming up tonight. Clara Zakopalova, the third seed in this event, ranked 23 in the world, taking on Svetlana Pironkova, the number 39 from Bulgaria. And Peng Shui taking on Monica Nicolescu. Two great singles matches to come to finalise our quarterfinal lineup. The bottom of your screen is Clara Zakopalova. Actually arrived a little late into Hobart after going deep into the tournament in China. Coming down eventually to Li Na. As I said, ranked 23 in the world. And we're looking to build on that. It's a career high. Take a look at the weather conditions. Maybe a shower tonight. We don't think that'll be a problem. 12 degrees. 16 at the moment. Very comfortable. The wind is up and about, as it has been throughout most of today. So Clara Zakopalova. Yeah, good run of late and good push up the rankings for her. Playing doubles here with Yamila Gaudisova. And Two minutes. got a win 6-4, 6-3 over Tamir Babos in the opening round. For Svetlana Bronkova, who's had a good run at Wimbledon in the last couple of years. Not so great in 2012. But made the fourth round of the US Open. Reached a semi-final in 2012. Couple of quarterfinals along the way, just maintaining that ranking inside the top 50. And in the opening round, had a 6-3, 6-4 win over Arena Camellia Begu of Romania. Head-to-head, -head, interesting between these two players. They have played five times. It's 3-2 in favour of Peronkova. Although the last time they played was last year in Paris on a hard court. And Zakopalova grabbing the win there. 6-love, six 6-3. Six The meeting One before that was back in 2009, so the main focus was on that match back in 2012. <coughs> and we're looking forward to a big match. The winner of this match to play Mona Bartle, the defending champion, tomorrow. In fact, the schedule has been released for tomorrow. Three quarterfinals during the day and one in the evening. First up, it'll be Emila Gaudisova taking on Elena Vesnina. And it'll be the winner of this match and taking on Mona Bartle. And Sloane Stevens and Lauren Davis to finish off the day program. Then start off the evening Ladies program, the some doubles, and then three Hung Shui or Monica Nicolescu, Robert they're playing tonight. We'll to take on Kirsten Flipkins. Top. So we're almost ready. The crowd building up at the Domain Tennis Centre here in Hobart. Take a over. Very impressive in her opening round match. We want to continue that good form. Particularly strong on the backhand wing. For Sultana Peronkova, a chance to get that ranking inside the top 30, which no doubt will be a goal for her. First event on the WTA for this season is here in Hobart. So just waiting for Sultana Peronkova to make an appearance out on court. And she will be serving first as we get underway in this first set. opening, or the second set. round, I should say, Ready. singles match.
15. One thing that the players will have to contend with is the shadows across the court from the shade sails and the light towers and the grandstand. So the best time of the day to play. Certainly conditions ideal for tennis at the moment. Quite still. Almost gusty the breeze we've had earlier today. So ready, a break point opportunity for Zakopilova. Game Zakopilova. That landing right on the line, break in the opening game for Clara Zakopilova. Spectators continue to make their way in to the Domain Tennis Centre. It's a bit of a hold up with Fertana Peronkova making her way through. And we're ready now to get right, back underway. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're safe. Thank you. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sotana Bronkova has played. Here in Hobart three times previously. Best result, the quarterfinals back in 2009. Falling to Virginie Rosano of France. Thirty fifteen. So we're well used to the conditions, but just a little slow to get going. Sutana played her first round match quite early a couple of days ago. So take a little while to get going. Problem with the tennis ball, I think. The players just stopping there. They've gone flat. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball is broken. So the ball is actually not flat, it's broken. Which can happen. Oh! 
So two tens of tennis balls used on each, each rotation. Sometimes you get a, a bad batch or a bad tennis ball in there. 13. The wind now starts to pick up. More like the conditions we had during the day session. You can see that ball toss, the ball just flying away from Zakopalova. So a bit of adjustment required. Nicely finished. So Zakopalova holds. We are two games to love now. Favor of the number three seed. It's often been a slow start to the year for Svetlana Peronkova. Just struggling the early stage of the season. Australian Open hasn't advanced past the second round. had good success at Wimbledon. Been a semi-finalist and a quarter-finalist there. Very emphatic, making that call very quickly. I start to see, see a pattern developing some of these matches. Tournament where one player would get off to a good start but would be pegged back. Zakopalova is on and ready to go. 15. Just not enough depth from Peronkova at the moment. Really able to step into that ball, Zakopalova, and put it away. Another break point for three love. And hitting winners at will. Number three seed, great start, three love opening sets. Suffolk Glover leads by three games to love. And let the lines pass.
Mata. Fifteen. This is semi cold. We've just had all the lights turned off on the center court. So here's a small opportunity for Bronkova to work her way into the match. Certainly been like Belova who's made the early running. Well, again, there were plenty of options for Zaka Belova there. Thirty. We've gone down the line instead, went cross court. And a couple Jeez. of unforced errors here that really both players didn't need to make. Certainly that one for Parogova, right up the middle of the court. It really was a nothing ball. Advantage, Zakapalov. The call emphatic from the umpire too. Very quick on the call, but Bronkova very frustrated at the moment. That's not going to help. Point here for four love. What a start. And gets it with an ace. Four love. Number three seed, great form at the moment. Finalist tournament in China last week. Perfect conditions for tennis. That wind easing, the temperature seems to have gone up a bit. Peronkova needs to get on the board. Build-up of Definitely four love down, of close calls not going her way, not being allowed to get into this match. The frustration building up for Bronkova. Fifteen. Zucker below his favourite shot, but just struggling for a little bit of consistency on that backhand wing.
15. And the battle between Lions person, umpire, and Peronkova continues. Really is tricky with the wind because the ball does tend to dip sharply. Not here to be tracking out, but sometimes it just drops in right at the last moment. Just pressing too much Zaka Pulova. Where those errors are coming from. Keep running, had to go for the big shot, Zaka Belova to force Pronkova back onto the back foot. Worked hard through that point, earned the opportunity to have a game point. Too big. So Peronkova on the board, but down a long way in this opening set. It is four games to one. Zaka Pulova on the three one. seed, looking good. Can be involved in the conversation on this match and across the tournament. There is the Twitter handle at Hobart Tennis. I'll also point to you to the various videos that are up on the website too, including an interview with Sloane Stevens, which has arrived on the website just a couple of hours ago. Great photo shoot as well. So hobartinternational.com.au but also at Hobart Tennis on Twitter to keep up to date with what's going on. <laughs> Better from Zaka Pulova. That's what one of the opening couple of games in this set. Oh, 
That needed to be overruled. Our commentary position is behind that line, so we had a good view of it. Depth. 15 4. all over this time looking for the call. Didn't really slow down, was off balance there, Zakapalova. Putting that into the Zakapalova net. So now, four games to two. the break is <coughs> back on. <coughs> so one of them retained 4-2. It's a terrific serve. All the time just rolling away from Zaka Bolova. It appears now that Veronkova has settled into the match. The early frustration is gone and he's looking to press forward. Seems now that 30, the early momentum that Zakopalova had, where it really wasn't missing anything, has just started to settle. Playing at such a high level, very hard to maintain that across the space of a two or three set match. Get back to that one. Great work though on the first volley. Taking that low down, that's a tough pickup. And just couldn't get back across in time. taken off the ball from Ronkova. We've seen a couple of times just looping those balls to try and get Zakopalova to try and create her own pace. Done by, but 
I think it's been equal on both sides up that on that line. So frustrated now, and the coach will be on the court immediately to try and settle things down for a good start. Zakovalova is now still leading 4-3, but Ronkova is on the way back. In her or over here. Are the balls that way? From her? Yours are that way? What's coming up next? Peng Shui and Monica Nicolescu. Take the luck there, which will frustrate Zakmalova. Peter Kralitz, her coach, was out on court earlier <coughs> just to try and settle his player. Shots here from Zakapalova, uh, from Ronkova, I should say. Allowing Zakapalova back into this. Game Zakapalova. And three in a row. Well, that's disappointing. Ronkova has worked hard to get herself back into the match. And gets a foothold, and all of a sudden, a couple of errors in a row. and racket that'll cop the blame for that.
Guys just trying to dig out that backhand. 15. Deep into the corner of the court. Slice might have been a better option there. Just caught out of position. Again, a backhand deep into the corner 15, for Bronco that's causing problems. Two set points for Clara Zakapalova. Oh, hasn't been the cleanest of tennis. She's the one who got off to a good start and managed to follow it through. Game and first. does it well with a winner. A trusty backhand for Clara Zakapalova. Six, Six games, games to three. Taking the opening set of this second round match. As we start this second set, Bronkova's no, no, no. just... How come every time it's on the... No, no, no. No, it's straight, straight through, straight through. What? It was straight through the line. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> so this is going to be an argument. The umpire saying the ball's just skidding through. It's not necessarily looking at where the ball lands. It's more where the ball is bouncing up to. So, as long as they can get it wrong. And I imagine that there is a lot of frustration at forehand cross court.
Well done. Used the breeze, just guided that ball over. 15 and 4. Now Zakopalova complaining to the umpire about the line calls. Break points. Be a good start in this second set for Pronkova. for the players to settle into any sort of rhythm because sometimes the points they play it's quite still other times it gets quite gusty so concentration required on every single point juice how come every time it's close you question this is not wrong no, 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 it's not. This was a good shot. Well, it's very rare that you have an umpire actually making the point back to the player. That was very interesting. Point of why do you always question whenever it's close? I think the response was pretty predictable. That was a fair response because I think they're out. So eventually, Porongova, after a huge battle, gets that break. Opening game of the second set. Well, it's very interesting because <coughs> I normally get that sort of response from the umpire. Point well made. Be unlikely to overrule calls that are on the other side of the court. We haven't seen too many of them across the tournament. Now it's time for Peronkova to stop worrying about the line calls and get on with getting back into this match. Thank you. 
15 on. Forty fifteen. Not sure what Zaka Below was quite thinking there. It's very casually just leaned into that backhand. Game for a couple of errors in a row for Zaka Belova. Bronkova now two games to love. Bronkova leads by two games to love. Sack up all over the one who's looking out of sorts. Allowing Bronkova just to stand right in on the baseline. Just go straight into attack mode. Zaka Belova's level's definitely dropped in the last couple of games. seems that another player can hold their level for too long. Oh. No way. That just set up nicely for Zakapalova. Straight onto it. Bronkova, though, with the rake. Two games to one. This second set after Zakopalova took the first six games to three. Time. 
15. Nicely done. Peronkova seeing the opportunity to come forward in control of that point. I'm not sure why Zaka Palova keeps putting Seven, her hand up when she hits the winner. No neck cords or even <laughs> a slight miss hit, but it's still effective. Just needed a step over there. Take a pull over. Peronkova consolidating the break. Three games to one now in this second set. Peng Shui and Monica Nicolescu, the next match to come. Our evening session. Anything going. Gets to a stage where you have control of the match and then that level just suddenly drops and these unforced errors creep in. That's the corner of the court where her coach is sitting. Done. It was two handed, but it was okay. Nice change up from Pronkova. 15 4. Bronkova gets another break. Four games to one. What a momentum shift we've got here. Bronkova leads by four games to one. Zappalov has requested to see a coach. And again, the coach will come out and just try and fix what's going on here because all the momentum is with Svetana Bronkova.
There's what's coming up next. Hung Shui and Monica <coughs> Nicolescu. Looking forward to that one. That's what's happening right now. Match at a very interesting stage. Just evenly poised at the moment. 6 3 to Zakapalova, the opening Ta set. And now Pronkova starting the fight back. In control again, Pronkova. Good angle. 15. Just trying to find a way through and did there. No way of getting to that. That just cutting through the line. Zakapalova was ready and waiting. Poronkova, 53% first serves into play, winning 62%, which is quite respectable. That's 37% on the second serve. Still one more break point for Zakapalova. It's pretty good percentage. Three of five for the match so far. So there is the break. Poronkova, though, still with a bit of a cushion. Four games to two in this second set. to that Poronkova has stopped the running battle with the umpire. Focusing the task at hand. Oh. 
It's going to float <laughs> wide. Now we're in an interesting stage. It's almost a carbon copy of what we saw in the opening set. Just the rolls reversed. player just doing enough to get in front and then the second half of the set just doing enough to hang on. Game Zakopalova in the please. Zakopalova and the hard work there going back to what brought her the opening Strong set deep the into the ad court. So, Ronkova still with a break. 4-3 in this second set. Oh dear. Fifteen. Throw your hands up in frustration, but again, just trying to spin that serve into play. And trying to put it in deep, seeing that Zakopalova was making the step in, but even still, double faults been a problem tonight for Bronkova. That looked to have caught some of the line. Commentary position right on that line. The umpire in good position too. Shouldn't be too many arguments about that one. Backhand. Just catching it a little bit late. Important <coughs> moment in the match. Tana Bronkov has done very well to get back into this. Now faces a break point opportunity. <laughs> Fifteen. 
game. Right in the corner. Had time to prepare for that one. Nicely done. The winners have dried up a little bit in this second set, but finally Zaka Belova able to break free. We are back level. Clever. Sakapalova making the move into the middle of the court. Love 15. Had to, had to double back and then push forward. Just tricky to do. Just a miss hit. 15. Again, it was just the high backhand that Zakapalova struggled with. Another breakpoint opportunity for Peronkova. Wild momentum shifts continuing in this match. So there is the break. Gronkova will be coming out to serve for this second set at 5-4. Gronkova leads by five games to four. <coughs> so now Svetana Peronkova serving for this second set. Just waiting, waiting, waiting for the call there.
30-15. Zakopalova is playing doubles with Yamila Gardasova. <laughs> it's interesting comments from Yamila earlier today. They're saying that let's play a lot of doubles. It didn't translate that necessarily into a singles game. Very rarely see her get to the net. I think it's a shame because actually quite a good volleyer. The power on her ground strokes. A lot of short balls. I would have followed them in, finished the points off a little quicker. Set point now for Svetlana Bronkova. Match been in progress just over an hour. And that'll do it. Game in second set. We are locked one set all. We're off to the deciding sets. That's pause at the other end. Pause at the end. And the weather temperature starting to come down. It was at around the 18 mark about an hour ago. Now it's dropped down to 13, 14. And that wind has picked up. You can see there it has dropped slightly, but you can see underneath temperature it feels like about five degrees fans they're very much rugged up in the domain tennis center tonight Into the final set, it'll be Zaka Pulova to get us back underway. And this match will come down to who can be the more consistent. Not so much the player can come up with more winners, but he can keep the ball in play longest. Reduce their unforced error count. Casually made her way towards the net. That is a bad miss.
nicely done. Time to flatten that out up the line. 40, 30. Very close to the line. It was an all or nothing shot for Bronkova. Opening game of this final set. Next up, Peng Shui. Her win over Su Wei, the top seed from Chinese Taipei. In three sets, taking on Monica Nicolescu, who defeated the qualifier Mandy Manella, 6 4 6 3, in the opening round. Quarter final action to come. Tomorrow, then the semi finals on Friday, and final, of course, on Saturday. And the players just a day to get to Melbourne. Less than an hour plane ride. Just a second time in six meetings that the match has gone the distance. Last time was back in 2009. They could pull over 6-3 the final set. Opening up for Bronkova there, taking full advantage. Third. Start to see longer rallies now for the match wears on. sudden the normal service resumed and we're back to the way it was in the opening set with Zaka Pilova taking control of the match. No way does she look absolute out and out winner at this stage. But the break of serve certainly helpful.
15. Just hitting too big, just trying to go that extra bit of pace. Oh dear, played too close to her that time. Trying to dig it out. 40, 50. Well, Bill, can you run up this single board, please, so it plays well? <laughs> the seagull, there's a seagull that's landed on the court. Normally has residence here for 11 out of the 12 months. Shooting herself in the foot here, Clara Zakopalova. <laughs> Two very makeable backhands, and across this game, just being netted. That's landed on the line. Just did enough to get it over. in a row for Clara Zakopalova. Peronkova gets the break back. Leads by two, games. two games to one. Zakopalova just taking a look at whether there's any mark from the previous point. No point arguing about it now. It's been a frustrating game for both players at times. Who can hold their consistency, hold their nerve in this final set?
Just a bit of movement. He wants to keep going. He's gone. And he's out. <laughs> it's something we haven't seen too much of from Peronkova today, but it's effective. Way on the back foot, just a little slide at the end. That trouble keeping a balance. Ronkova now a point, or a couple of points, I should say, to get back even in this final set. Again, that's just too good, that forehand up the line. Tell that Zakabalova's spent plenty of time in the off-season just working on the potency of that forehand. <coughs> and now it's Peronkova's turn. So nice to see a couple of winners in a row. Advantage for Ronco. That's too big. So Peronkova now evens things up in this final set. Two games off. And a slight lift in the pace of the match too. Remember it is a tie-break set. So we will play tie-breaker at six all. Love 
Love this. So now it's Bronkova with the momentum. And a couple of errors now flying from the Zakopalova racket. So this time the umpire making an overall. Ball was drifting. Tricky for the lines person because Bronkova was running into the lines person's field of vision along that line. Three break points. That's a good change up. There's going to be a discussion between Clara Zakabalova and Peter Kralit. Try and turn this around. Bronco with the break. 3 2 in the final set. Bronkova now with the advantage, 3-2. That's good from Satana. Nice change up coming into the net, trying to shorten the points and a couple of drop shots as well just throughout the match. that Zakopalova just a little hesitant to come forward. Bronkova's just dropped a couple short. Not short, I mean, just over the service line. Just inviting Zakopalova to come in. the sixth double fault for the match for Svetana Peronkova. Just caught behind the baseline, Zakopalova. Doesn't want to make that move forward. A couple of times that she's been reaching. Uh, the back of the court might be maybe a little injury niggle, perhaps. As the wind gusts up again.
and it drops in all over the court. Both players, great points. Pedronkova holds though for two now. Pedronkova leads by four games to two. This, the final set up next. Peng Shui and Monica Nicolescu. So what's Clara Zakopalova got here? Trouble is now that the that wind's picked up, so can't do too much with the serve. So just having to spin it in, just make that adjustment to the ball toss and swing through the ball. You don't want to give the ball toss too much air. Now the conditions have gusted up significantly. And as you can see there, that ball intended to go just slightly out in front. Take a pull over, threw it up and ended up behind her. That's smart play from Sutana Peronkova. Just Fifth dropping that ball in short. <coughs> That's missed as well, so... Frustration now for Zakopalova. Peronkova is playing this okay, playing the windy conditions well. Break points. Well, Juice. that ball didn't have too much pace. Ronkova was in a good position, but again, getting into a good position, then a raft of unforced errors. See at the back of the court, Zakopalova just Advanced down on her haunches. I've seen that a couple of times <laughs> in the last few games. Another break point for 5 2. That'll be put away. Peronkova, five games to two, will come out and serve for the match. Peronkova leads by five games to two. And Clara Zakopalova just taking her time, walking back to her chair. There is some sort of 
Injury concerns, certainly not asking for the trainer or anything like that. Coming up next, Peng Shui and Monica Nicolescu to complete the second round matches. Or you know, yeah, Miller got so will play Elena Nina and Sloane Stevens will face the qualifier, Lauren Davis. <coughs> Mona Bartle and Kirsten Flipkins are through. They just need opponents in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Time. Fifteen left. Guiding it into the open court. But Zakopalova just labouring just that little bit. But still, I think, despite the fact Bronka was in such a strong position, there is still plenty of opportunity for Zakopalova to get back into this. Again, just being asked to come forward and just not making that extra step. Zakopalova tonight. Okay, so Tana Baronka, we've seen change-ups, some slice. It's come in short, drop shots into the net. A lot of different things happening. 40, and now, so Tana Baronkova has a match point. And there it is. One hour, 42 minutes. It wasn't the prettiest of tennis, but it was enough. And Svetlana Bronkova is through to the quarterfinals of the 2013 Marilla Hobart International. 3-6, 6-4, 6-2 over Clara Zakopalova. And Svetlana Bronkova got herself out of trouble. Just grinded away from the back of the court and just held that consistency, particularly in the final stages of that match, to get over the line. And Clara Zakopalova has had a pretty good start to 2013 and certainly has had enough matches to feel OK heading into the Australian Open next week. So Tana Peronkova now to face the defending champion Mona Bartle in the quarterfinals tomorrow. And coming up next, we've got Peng Shui taking on Monica Nicolescu, the last of our second round matches. And there is what we're looking at tomorrow. Emilia got us over first up against Elena Vesnina. Sutana Peronkova now against Mona Bartle. And Sloane Stevens taking on Lauren Davis. And we're still waiting for an opponent for Kirsten Flipkins. That's up next. Peng Shui and Monica Nicolescu in just a moment.